Monday morning, it's 6 a.m. and it is so dark out. So sad. Before I left from this trip, it would be like literally 5 a.m. and still light out. So I'm like, mm, bummer. So I just kind of naturally woke up and got a lot to get done this week. So let's just get to it. All right, let's go get a workout in. I'm very much out of my workout routine from traveling, so we need to get back into it. Okay, workout complete. Definitely one of those days I didn't want to get to the gym, but I'm glad that I did it. Okay, just about ready. I am feeling stressed because I don't know why I thought I got a really good night of sleep but I just feel so tired right now so I might make another cup of coffee I try to not do that much anymore but I'm just like eh, I need it I also am like oh my god I haven't uploaded in two weeks on my main channel I don't know how this happened because I feel like I've been filming and editing non-stop I also am feeling like kind of sick but that's the only time I'm gonna say that in this vlog because I, I really think your body listens to what you tell yourself. So I feel amazing, so healthy. No, but I'm, I'm gonna go get um, some like vitamin C or orange juice or whatever because literally like five days from now, I'm going to Vietnam and I need to be so healthy, the picture of health. Thank you guys. I don't really know how I feel about this jacket today. But I think I just accidentally, oh no, the tag is still on it. So I could still return it. I feel like it's just a little bit long. I don't know. I mean, it's cool, but maybe just not with this outfit. I got this pumpkin flavored oat milk creamer. Just sounded good fall vibes and pineapple chunks. I couldn't find any like orange juice at Target, which is kind of weird. But um, I'm pretty sure I think pineapple has vitamins. So. so yeah, I feel amazing. Wow, this pineapple has no color. Mm. It has flavor. Oh my god, I figured out why I'm tired. I used decaf coffee pods this morning, so I'm remaking my coffee. That is hilarious. Okay, got my coffee. Let's see how the pumpkin flavor is. Mmm. Ooh, it's good. I just recorded a part for the van video here in outro and then just talking about all the stuff I didn't get footage of because like I said in the moment when it was like the most stressful and probably best to get footage I didn't and it was I wish I could go back and get more but obviously like I can't so I at least did a little talk through for the ending and I'm almost done editing it <laughs> All right, quickly I have to head to Bellevue. I have a Genius Bar appointment to see if I can get my phone fixed. I really hope that they can just get it working, um, but I can kind of make do. If not, we'll see. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed. Luckily they had an appointment available like the next day, so I love that. Okay, that was a extremely frustrating experience, but I finally have my working phone. Took me two full hours because I went to the Verizon store and tried to see if I could just put my SIM card in Monica's old phone or just buy a new SIM card. But Monica's phone's with Sprint and it's locked so it doesn't work like that. And the manager of the store wasn't there and like I, something about like a pin number, I don't know, I was so confused. I ended up just paying $500, so dumb for a new phone because basically like I can't even get into my bank or my Instagram or like any of this stuff if I don't have a working phone. Cause you know how it texts you? So I felt really stupid because I pre-ordered the iPhone 14. So I was like, maybe I can just go without for a few weeks. But I really think like going to Vietnam and traveling, I, I like actually do need a phone because that's just going to be too difficult without. So I just bit the bullet and bought one and maybe I'll, maybe I'll cancel the iPhone 14 or maybe like, I'll probably still get the iPhone 14, but maybe I'll give someone this when I'm done because... Mm. There might be some more. Oh, there's one back there. I hope that the next owners love all the fruit that they're gonna get. <laughs> oh my god, yum! Look how good that looks. Best tasting strawberry ever. Dang, this grapevine just got so lush. Oh, I miss coming here, especially in the summer. And so rumor is there's more strawberries. Oh yeah. Just gonna eat some. Mm. So good. 
All right, me and my mom are getting dinner here at the Cliff House. Oh my gosh, yum. Look how pretty this view is. Good morning, it's Tuesday. I'm watching through, um, Olivia did some edits to the van video, so watching through that, which is pretty fun. Some of them are really cool. And then there's like a few things, obviously, I just note to change. Gotta get on a few calls, but yeah, just watching through this is involved. It's giving <clears throat> fall. <laughs> no, it's still pretty warm outside, but I think I'm gonna wear this today. It is an Aritzia top and the skirt that I bought. And then this super cozy like sweater is from Revolve a year ago. Don't, if they still sell it, I'll link it. It is really comfy and like very nice looking, honestly. Um, but yeah, I really quickly need to go grab mascara from Target because mine's all like dried up and it just doesn't look good. And a salad for lunch because I'm going to be kind of on the go later. Yes, I still use this classic. Boom. Lashes, yeah, it worked way better. I'm glad I bought a new mascara. Um, now I have to hop on two calls, and then we will film. Hey, one second. Um, I think that my like preferences are not going to the speaker. All right, call number one done. It was with a basically the founder of a new platform where we may like distribute the OnlyFans video finally <laughs> um but it would be like a small payment like people pay literally like 10 cents to watch it what do you guys think of that um and now i am going to oh yeah sending olivia this stuff now call number two with my new tax people making some decaf coffee olivia just got here too so i had her go upstairs to that area while I do this call um, to do the van video edit. So we're getting stuff done. Um, I literally, I hate it so much when I have to do calls. Like you have to do it, but it just, it's not moving the needle on videos. So it just feels like a waste of time. Yeah, I'm just making some decaf coffee. All right, packing all my stuff to go. I could stay at the treehouse overnight, but I think I'm just gonna go film it and come back home because it's not that far from me. And just knowing I'm going so far next week and just got home, I'm like, I really just wanna be in my own bed. But it will be really cool for the video. All right, just made it to the treehouse. I'll show you guys a little sneak peek. Jeez, my hair fell like completely from curling it. What the heck? So here is a look at it. It is basically a tiny house, tree house. So it's not like a true tree house in the sense that it's built into the tree, but the decking kind of is, and it still feels sort of like you're in a tree house, but you can hear there's like a river or something down there. Love the string lights, the little hammock. Like this is very, very cool. Cabin kind of vibe. We'll go in. Love that they did one of those like window wall systems. This is so cozy. And then the bed's up there. It is a little bigger than a tiny house actually, but it kind of is a similar sort of thing. We've got a little kitchen here and then a bathroom right here. Wow, that's a cool shower. The rainfall is just built into it. Love that. And I love that it's so like, you get the natural light. Wow, I am obsessed with the vibe in here. It's really cool. So first things first, we'll get some B-roll shots of the whole place. Then we'll shoot like a walkthrough tour, so. so cool this airbnb has a sauna and it overlooks the prettiest spot on the property so it's here and then it just like looks out onto like these mountains and everything like oh my god it's like propped up on a deck so this is just it's so cool it's such a good idea too because in the winter it does get cold here so just having lunch out here by the little creek 
I just got the kitchen sink salad from Kitchen and Market. Kind of jealous of Olivia's lunch. It smells good. It's so nice here. I'm like, I feel so lucky we get to spend our day like filming this and like eating out here. It's like, it's just a fun little mix it up, you know, from editing. Been doing a lot of editing lately, so this is nice. Okay, I'll do a few different takes of this. Super easy to open. Really, really cool. A projector right here. <laughs> so if you wanna watch TV, you can totally do that here. Maybe we'll do that on the other side. <laughs> wanna go, actually stand right here cause it's cool to get that shot of the inside outside. Like literally like right there basically, yeah. See like if it's on the widest, how does it look with that lens? I'm not actually sure. Okay. Wow, the audio in here is funny. Okay, we just finished recording, it's 6 p.m. I have an hour-ish drive back to Seattle. We got some great shots. I'm excited to come back for the interview. Um, but yeah, I think I'll stop to charge because there's a Fred Meyer at that supercharger and I need groceries anyway. So I'll charge a little bit more even though I don't really like need to. Are you kidding, oat milk for six bucks? Inflation's gone crazy, guys. All right, just got groceries. My car's charged up. I'm so tired, it's 6.30. I'm like, I could fall asleep. <laughs> See how long to get home. 40 minutes? Ooh, okay, well, I'm gonna have a chill night. I need it. Ooh, I'm back home. I am so tired. I cannot wait to sleep. I like have a headache. I'm just gonna make something to eat and get in bed. <laughs> I need rest. Mm, avocado toast? Yeah. Got a good amount of groceries for, you know, just until I leave on Sunday. But did you guys see that the Oatly was $6 now? Like that used to be four. Why is it up that much? That's like 30% increase. What the heck, Fred Meyer? Having some Perrier with fresh grapefruit. My favorite sparkling water. I've already talked about it, you guys know. It's the fine bubbles, they're so good. I bought a fresh. Having kind of a light dinner, just a piece of that country bread, smoked salmon, and a fried egg. The days are getting shorter, and I am not happy about it. Oh, dang. It's not, it's not a fork and knife thing. Good morning, everybody. I keep seeing stuff online about how walking first thing in the morning is supposed to be really good for you. Well, let's go do it. I just woke up and made my coffee and we'll go on a little walk. Oh man, I think I figured out downtown Seattle, like the nice, pleasant places to walk. So. It was really, really nice listening to a podcast. Just honestly relaxing way to start my morning. This is very light breakfast. I'm having a banana and two eggs scrambled with thyme on it. Lots of editing to do today, you guys. Going through my mail, all this random stuff. I feel like I have so many random little things I need to do that just are so damn annoying, but let's do it. have one of the van videos, the one I was working on, basically fully done and I need to just record the click up part for it. So came back to do that really quick. I have been extremely overwhelmed today. <laughs> I will explain. Basically, okay, here, we'll, we'll go like this. Okay, all right. I lost my little mini tripod for this camera, but basically <sighs> travel makes it so hard to stay on top of things. I feel like I have been nonstop filming, editing, doing stuff, but like have no actual output. Like I haven't uploaded in two weeks. <sighs> I just feel so all over the place. And um, trying to finish three 
videos before going to Vietnam on Sunday um, because I have brands in them and there's deadlines and ah, it's all good things. Like I'm so lucky to be able to do this. It just is a bit overwhelming right now. Like I wish the timelines could be spaced out a bit more because I can deal with this. I can deal with getting it done and like that, the stress of it, whatever, I can get it done. But I get a little more stressed out just when I think about like, I feel like all these videos are rushed. Like I feel like I could make them better if it, this wasn't so rushed and I don't know, that just makes me kind of sad because I'm like, I don't want to upload a video that's not like, <sighs> they're still good, but I'm just like, <sighs> I feel like even the van video me and Sam filmed, I was stressed out during that too, that I didn't get as much shots as I wanted to. And I'm like, I don't know, I need to reevaluate some things and say no to more things so that I can like feel good about what I'm making and make it as best as I can. Okay, just setting up this shot. Also, I take back what I said about the videos not being good quality. It's, I'm just like being dramatic. It's only the van video I wish I had gotten more shots with. I'm actually very happy with how the dome, the geodesic dome got tons of footage. And yesterday that we shot, we got a ton of great footage. So it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fine. It's really just the van video I wish I had caught in a bit more. Anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. I'll shut up now. Um, also, one other thing that happened on this van trip that I didn't capture in the moment. Okay, just finished recording the talk through part. It is now 124. I'm pretty hungry, so I'm just gonna make lunch really quick. Same thing I had for dinner. Dang, that actually looks really good. So it's two toasts with avocado, tomato, smoked salmon, and an egg on top. All right, finished getting all the shots in here and all of that and eating lunch. It's like 2 p.m., but I'm gonna go get coffee at the coffee place that I'm shooting at tomorrow because I do want to try and be productive like all through the evening. So I feel like coffee will be necessary. Okay coffee from the robot. Let's give it a shot. It's so good. Wow. So that's what like the oh, like kind of was? Intro voiceover. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'll do it. I'll do it live. Okay, if you don't like the first song, I can change it, but okay, it, okay. just wait. Maybe I'll be like, welcome back. We should use the same checked in logo thing. Yes, like, I was gonna ask for that. That would be a good spot for it. Yeah. Ooh, this is fun. I looked at every dome on Airbnb in the whole world. Just so, so, so welcome to the property. This property actually Ooh, has 10 different short term rentals. So Tori found this property, it already had electricity okay, yeah, so that's on what site. the music we is, it's kind of whimsical. I like it, it fits the mountain. We yeah. just come out of a really sharp pose on top of the world. And so we were intentionally looking at mountain ranges in the Tennessee area, which is like the only property oh, so that so good. Okay, good. All right, exporting this right here to send to the brand. So this van life weekend video is done. Now I need to go over the, uh, the other van video, the van renting out video and just do all the little like finishing touches. All right, my computer is working extremely hard to export this, it won't do anything else. So I'm gonna take a work break and quickly do a workout. <laughs> just go to the gym really quick. I feel like that will be good to break up the evening um, and keep me awake and energized. The coffee is definitely keeping me good to go. I feel so much less stressed out now than I did earlier today like i didn't wake up feeling stressed when i went on that walk that was very nice but then i was just like oh my god so much to do even not even all of it is like youtube stuff but just like catching up on life stuff because i was traveling and i'm about to i was like oh my gosh i need to like pay all these bills and basically make just phone calls that are like adulting type of tasks that had just kind of piled up because i wasn't doing them while I was gone because I didn't even really know what I needed to be done um, or needed to get done. But uh, I need to figure out a way to like still keep my life together while I travel or like, I haven't figured out that system totally yet. Maybe I need to hire certain things out. Um, I don't know, I feel like some of it you can't even hire out, but there's gotta be a solution. There's a solution to like literally everything if you look for it. So I'm gonna figure it out. Oh my god. That 20 minute run 
That one was way harder than my morning workouts. Afternoon workouts are way harder for me, but I'm glad I did it. I feel so awake and ready. So I uploaded this and already noticed a couple errors. I shoot on different cameras and some of them don't automatically crop in when you put it in DaVinci, so I'll fix this. Oh, I also made my favorite tea for my evening editing session, Bengal Spice by Celestial Sea Settings. It is hard to find it in stores. You gotta order it online and it is so good. It is now dark as you can see, but I'm doing voiceovers for the dome video that Olivia edited. All I have to do is the voiceovers and send them back to her and she'll plug them in with the B-roll. It's a dream come true, you guys. Like watching it back today, I was like, this is good. And like, I was just so happy with it. I'm just, oh, I'm so glad. Got my next voiceover spot. All right, I got all the voiceovers done. I'm making a cookie. Cause I bought frozen or not frozen, but refrigerated cookie dough. And I like to just make one every once in a while. They're so good. I say every once in a while, it's becoming like an every day. <laughs> so funny, but they're so good. But now I am going over this video. This is the one going up on Saturday. Just making sure it's perfect. Um, I started the edit and then Olivia finished it and now I'm gonna go in and just, I don't know, do whatever else I think would be cool. Yeah. Okay, me and my overdone cookie are ending the night watching Casey and I said's new vlog about moving back to New York City. So I'm gonna end this one here. Still is just finishing some stuff, but it's like 9 p.m. I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, but yeah, good day.